What is happening? How are you doing? I'm asking because I really want to know. Let me know in the comments. Seasons are changing. Starting to get a little chilly. Starting to see some leaves fall off the trees. You know, the, the warm weather in summer is saying goodbye. In fact, I don't have a calendar. Yes, I do. Yesterday was the first day of, of fall. So, how are you doing? I talked to my buddy Dan uh, that was from Canada that was uh, at the van build running the composting toilets yesterday by text. And we were, I was asking him, when are you getting ready to head down to the warm weather, you know, down to the uh, southern Arizona area for the season? And he says, oh, maybe about six weeks from now. And he's got his plan. And I said, yeah, I miss, you know, I'm thinking about riding my dirt bike out. Uh, in the desert and you know start to have that nostalgia as I feel the temperatures change But I've got business here that I have to attend to he said you only live once and uh, God bless him. I'm thinking to myself. Yeah, but I don't want that one time to be living under a bridge I gotta get my stuff done and so How I'm doing is I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I got to put some stuff back together on the Yukon that's misbehaving This right here is an ABS module that uh you know i had the abs and the brake light on and so or parking light i can't remember which uh it doesn't matter anyway the lights are coming on i'm throwing a code and it's this little thing right here the solder joints on a vehicle this old tend to crack and and start going out and so i fixed them at least you know i think i fixed them i don't know if it's really going to work or not and i've got it in this vice because i put some room temperature vulcanizer on it and I wanted it to have a chance to set. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments. If you don't know what that is, and I tell you in the next video, you're gonna be like, ah, oh, I knew what that was. So, and in the process of putting that on, it's under the, I'll take and show you. It's, um, it's under the driver's seat in the outside of the vehicle, and the screws are really hard to get to, so, I did a little pilot bit from the bottom up so I could cut a um, hatch out for it. And in the process of doing that, I went through the uh, airbag uh, module. So that's gotta be fixed. I tried to solder the circuit board where the bit went through. And you know, once you bust those circuit uh, boards up, fat chance, good luck. Anyway, this is what it looks like right here. The entry point that I have that I'm going to be putting that back in. It's either going to work or it's not. And if it doesn't work, I'm just going to put up with the warning lights until, uh, you know, I, I've got it in the budget to order these parts, which is going to be quick for me because this kind of stuff uh, really needles at me. But here we are. Fall is in the air. Won't be long. The leaves are changing. They're already starting to change just a little bit. There's the old dirt bike. God bless her. I was looking at uh, some stuff. I was organizing the garage the other day and looking at all the stuff that I need to put on it. I got a Ricky Stater. Here, I'll show you. I got a Ricky Stater. I got some lights that uh, the Ricky Stater is going to support. Right here are my lights. And here's my stator right here, but that's a low priority. I got to get working. And so what I'm going to do after I, I'm going to go to the gym today, after I put these parts on, then I'm going to come back and sign up for task rabbit, which is a app for handyman work. And specifically I'm going to be pursuing hanging TVs because I had a, a satellite dish installation business and in another uh, life in Denver, Colorado for 10 years. And that was a big part of it, hanging TVs. Uh, and I can't stand seeing wires hanging down when you mount the TV. That's like a pet peeve that gets under my skin, probably a little more than it should. So I'm gonna be putting all the wires back inside the walls and that's not really that hard to do if you understand how to do it. So that's what I'm gonna do to fund. Check this out, this is what I'm gonna do. Um, since I got up and did the roof recently, 
on the house uh, get it in there and cleaned all of the mold and algae and moss and everything off of it uh, it reminded me of being on rooftops back when I had the satellite dish business. I thought, man, I'm, I kind of miss this. I kind of like being up on ladders, being up on roofs, traveling around. I got to go out and be out in the world rather than just sitting uh, pecking on a keyboard. I, that drives me crazy over time. Uh, I'm going to do a soft wash business slash pressure wash business. I'm not sure exactly how all that works with respect to what you call your business when you do both, uh, but I'll figure that out. And uh, since we're going into the season where that's not gonna be a thing anymore, it's getting ready to be too cold here in Baltimore, in uh, Maryland, I'm gonna get into the Christmas lights business. I did some research and that seems like something that I'd like to do. Uh, the only thing being, uh, I was thinking if a storm came through and there was, uh, you know, all the lights hit the ground and then I get a call as a one horse operation by everybody. Hey, you charged me all this money and my lights are on the ground and what are you going to do about it? And then I've got all this anxiety trying to chase after and get everybody's lights fixed all at the same time. And I was thinking, man, if that happens, you know, what am I going to do? And just letting all the bad thoughts get in and I, you know, talked myself off the ledge and said, look, man, look for some weather safe clips, look for some solutions to where they'll be awful resilient to that kind of thing to begin with. And then if it happens, just do the best you can. If I got to bring somebody else on, it might even make it more fun to, you know, have two trucks running or whatever. But so that's what I'm going to do. I got to get uh, started on the, the handyman business to fund that and uh take it from there so that i go in and i do that today after i get back from the gym i sign up for that and i start taking that work where the truck's actually going to roll it's actually going to have uh tools in the back of it and i might also pursue delivering medical equipment it just so happens i'm in baltimore area the baltimore area and uh medical is like one of the it's world renowned here for that and so i might go around delivering kidneys i don't know ain't gonna be mine but if I do something like that, I'm gonna need a, a truck with, uh, you know, that's all functional. I just about got it there. So this all started with, how are you doing? That's how I'm doing. Let me know in the comments. And by the way, if you haven't seen my last video, go back and check that out if you would. Just go to the channel. It's about uh, dash cams. I put a dash cam in front and rear. I got the third camera coming for the inside. Ought to be here in a couple of days. Uh, go back and check that out. Not so much, you know, hey, I don't need a dash cam, but you know how, how every once in a while I'll put some time into a video and it's not boring, it's not technical. So check that out and see what you think. In the meantime, hit me up in the comments, man. Are you are you coming down to Courtside? Are you getting ready to go down to Yuma? Are you going down to Mexico? What are you doing for the cold weather? Are you just gonna get your firewood up to where it needs to be and just hang it out, you know, tough it out in the place you're at? Uh, I'm toughing this out here in Maryland. We're not going anywhere this year. Uh, you know, all trips are on further notice till daddy gets his money right. And so let me know what you got going on. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to hit the gym. Hope you're doing well and uh, see you soon. Adios.